Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. What's up, you two? You guys picked the perfect time to spend some downtime with the meal. I hope y'all are having a fantastic hump day. Today is Wednesday. Man, it's been a great week already, and there's more stuff coming. You already know what I'm talking about. We're going to get into my official review of Mortal Kombat 11, as you can see right over here. And I am really excited about this, and we're gonna get into that in just a moment. But before we get into that, as I always say, if you are new to this channel, and if you like the content that I produce, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, if you hit that bell icon right next to subscribe, you'll get notifications every time I produce a new video. Now, Mortal Kombat 11. This game right here, I gotta tell you, it is fantastic. And I'm so excited to give you my thoughts on the game. And basically, if you think that you wanna play this game, if you got any questions about it, I hope this video will definitely tell you what you need to know. The first thing that I gotta say about this game, Mortal Kombat 11, you can really, really tell that Netherrealm Studios, they went all out from a visual standpoint. This game looks beautiful. Everything from the backgrounds to the character models to the lighting, everything in this game was done in extreme detail. And I gotta tell you, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best games so far this year of 2019 that I've seen from a visual standpoint. Visually, this game is very, very impressive. And I gotta tell you, you will really be impressed visually. The CG looks so amazing that when you're playing the game and you see the rendered cutscenes, you almost can't tell the difference. I mean, it's a very, very thin line between gameplay graphics and CG. And I gotta tell you, you will really, really, really be in for a treat with this game. Not only are the backgrounds and the graphics amazing, but you can also, there's so many different environments that allow you to interact with the background. Sometimes there's weapons in the background that you can pick up and use just like traditional Mortal Kombat where in the past you could throw someone off a ledge or something like that. You have a lot of those same things here in the game which just makes the game so fun. And But I gotta tell you, one of the things that really stuck out to me was some of the super moves in this game is like, oh my God. For example, you can have a super move in this game where it looks like it should be a fatality. And it's not a fatality, it's a super move. It's a move that you can pull off when your character gets low, you just hit L2, R2 on your controller. I'm using a PlayStation 4. And the character does this really, really cool animated cutscene of them just tearing into their opponent. And I mean, it looks like it should be a fatality, but it's not. This is very, very impressive and I mean, you really got to see it. Me telling you about it is not enough. You can see it here in the video, but man, it is fantastic. And I mean, you know, it's easy enough to pull off and it's really cool to show off, but yeah, you really got to see it for yourself. So that's another thing that I really like about this game is the super moves in the game. Now we're going to get into what Mortal Kombat is famous for. Fatality. Man, let me tell you something. The fatalities in this game are epic. I mean, they are creative for each character. I, I mean, I haven't seen all of the fatalities so far, but what I can tell you is that the fatalities that I've seen, they are fantastic. What I like about the fatalities is that, again, it's similar to the super move where it looks like a cutscene, but it's more gameplay style graphics. 
but then they just go over the top with some of these fatalities. You've got all kinds of, where it used to be back in the old days, the fatality was done in like 2D. Now it's like in a 3D way they execute it and it looks amazing. Probably one of my favorite fatalities that I've seen so far is Johnny Cage's. Um, I mean, he takes what he did back in the old days with like Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2 and it just takes it to a whole nother level. I mean, you got to see it. Plus they add a little of his, you see more of the flair in the characters when they pull off a lot of their fatalities. For example, Johnny Cage may pull out an award that he won while he's doing a fatality. And that is just so impressive. That's just one of many that are very, very impressive in this game. Sub-Zero, I mean, there's so many great fatalities. You got to see them in this game. A lot of you guys have already seen them, but I'm just telling you, you got to see the fatalities. They took it to another level in this game with the fatalities, and you will not be disappointed, I guarantee you. Aside from the fatalities, like I said previously, NetherRealm Studios really went all out to really make this game just shine in a lot of ways that even aren't so obvious as the fatalities. For example, when you're on the stage select screen and you've already picked your fighters, you can actually see while you're choosing your stage, the characters that you've chosen fighting in a little small part of the screen in silhouette and they are really, really going at it. And it changes for each character that you choose when you're selecting your stage. And it's just small things like that, in my opinion, that really make the game shine. Of course, this does not contribute to the gameplay, but it's just one more thing that lets you know they were really trying to pull out all the stops on this game. And you'll see exactly what I mean. When you're on that screen where you're selecting your stage, you'll see them characters just going at it, man. And it's really cool to see because it's a silhouette and it's more of an animated silhouette and it just looks fantastic. You'll see what I'm talking about and you'll definitely enjoy it. One thing I can definitely tell you about this game as well is that there are several wow moments. What I mean by that is there's several times where you're playing the game and you'll go, Ooh, wow, oh my God, oh man. You're gonna have several moments just like that. This game is so well done from the fights, from the uppercuts, to the fatalities, to the super moves. You really just, man, it is like being at the arcade, but just way, way better. And they, like I said, man, I can't say it enough. They went all out on this game. You can see in the video what I'm talking about, but let me tell you something. When you got this on your 4K TV and you got the lights down low and you're getting into it with this game, playing it with someone online or in the same room as you, man, this game is fantastic. And I'm telling you, I'm really, really impressed with how they did this game. I, I just can't stop talking about it. Seriously, I would, I would go so far as to say best fighting game of the year at this point. Could be for the year 2019 and we still got more to go, but that's just my opinion. So take it for what it's worth, but trust me, this game delivers on every level. And finally, just some of the features that the game has. You've got your online mode, you've got story mode, which is really awesome because it's basically like you've seen how the previous story modes were in Mortal Kombat. This one is even better. The CG is amazing. It's so impressive seeing this game just play out in story mode. I'm telling you, it's like watching a movie. It's that realistic. I was really impressed with it. So you've got the story mode, you've got the online mode, you've got the fight mode, which is basically where you can fight against a computer, or you can fight against a friend, or you can fight online. You also have the towers mode as well, and a lot of you all are familiar with that from previous Mortal Kombat's. So the game has lots of features, plus you've got some special characters. I reserved the game early, so I got Shao Kahn, and he is amazing, man. This dude, it was, it was worth reserving the game early to get Shao Kahn, and I'm glad that I did. So the game is impressive. And so I would say my final review of this game, definitely check it out. Um, it is a game definitely worth buying, especially if you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat 
fan, even if you just like fighting video games, this game delivers, man, I'm telling you. I have it on PS4 and it looks fantastic. I cannot say that enough. The game visually is impressive. It's, it's that good. And so because of that, I give this game an A. It deserves it, it's worth it, it has earned it. And I gotta tell you, man, it's, it's, it's up there in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay, in terms of the creativity for the fatalities, the super moves, the characters. Man, it is the complete package. I'm not lying to you. I'm not doing this to sell the game, but I'm letting you know if you're on the fence about thinking about getting this game, don't be. Get off the fence, go to GameStop, pick this game up. You will not be disappointed, I promise. So that has been my review for Mortal Kombat 11 for the PlayStation 4. For those who have already purchased this game, what is your favorite character in this game? Also, what is your favorite fatality of the character that you enjoy or their super movie? Post those thoughts down in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video, let your friends know about Downtime with the Meal. Also, you guys need to know I'm working on Avengers Endgame. I've already started getting preliminary stuff, my reaction up. I can't film it yet because I haven't seen it yet, but I will be going to the movies Thursday night at 10 p.m. Can you believe that? 10 p.m. to watch Avengers Endgame, finally. I cannot wait to see what this is going to be all about, man. I am so pumped for this movie. Anyway, you will see a notification when I post my reaction to Avengers Endgame on Friday. So make sure you turn your notification bells on on your YouTube channel. Also, guys, enjoy this week. It is a lot of cool stuff happening this week. Mortal Kombat 11 has dropped. The NFL Draft is premiering the same night Avengers Endgame is premiering. And there is just so much to take in this week. This is a great time to be a fan of the entertainment industry or the sports industry. So with that said, enjoy this week. Have fun. Remember, if you can see this video, you are blessed. And finally, what are you? gonna do in your downtime. Peace.